All right, guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to be ranking every single song on To Pimp a Butterfly by Kendrick Lamar. Uh, so this was requested in a comment. Um, so before we get into it, I just want to remind you to subscribe and also uh, comment some other albums uh, you would like me to rank if you would like to see me continue to do these. But getting right into it, um, at number 16, I have You Ain't Gotta Lie. Um, this song talks about being honest and true to yourself. And it's fun and catchy, but it's just not as good as the others in my opinion but i do want to say this song at number 16 on this album it doesn't necessarily mean it's bad i would still say this is probably an 8 or 9 out of 10 song it's just the album's so great that one of them had to be last and up to number 15 um i have hood politics um it talks about street life and politics and like a bunch of the song or pretty much every song here on this album um, it's meaningful and talking about something, some problem within the world. And at number 14, I have For Sale Interlude. Um, this one, people might get mad at me when I did my Kendrick Lamar song ranking. I had this one pretty low and people didn't really like it. But I mean, I don't think it's bad. It's just not my favorite on the album. I'd definitely rather listen to a bunch of the other songs. But um, going into number 13, I have Complexion. Uh, this song celebrates diversity and talks about how we should embrace our differences and I mean it's positive and catchy but again um, still a bunch of other tracks I'd rather listen to. At 12 I have institutionalized. Um, it talks about how society shapes us and holds us back and um, it's thought provoking and I think the production on this one is like very good. I really like the production on it. Um, at number 11, I have Mama. It talks about Kendrick's journey to understanding himself. Uh, it's introspective and it, you know, it has like a chill vibe, you know, it's a nice, just chill listen. And starting off the top 10 here at number 10, another one that people might get mad at me for, but I have for free interlude. Um, it's short, but it's an intense interlude and it talks about like money and greed and um, it's pretty good, but I don't find myself going back just to listen to it. I kind of just listen to it when I'm listening to the album you know it and in the context of the album i think it works really good but it's not a song you know i'm gonna be listening to um just you know in my playlist or whatever and at number nine i have mortal man this is kind of another song that i'm not just gonna be listening to because although it is really good it's 12 minutes long and um you know it features that long uh deep conversation between like kendrick and tupac and i think again in the album it works perfectly it's like the perfect ending for this album and i think it all just kind of ties everything together perfectly um but yeah again just nothing i'm gonna go back to and listen to like you know i'm not gonna put this on in the car or anything right at number eight i have these walls um it's about intimacy intimacy and um emotional barriers uh it's deep and has an addictive sound and i mean if you can get if you can get past the moaning in the beginning, um, you know it's a really good song. Just again, probably not something you're gonna want to put around or uh, put on around other people, you know, just because of that start. But um, yeah, great song, very catchy. At number seven, I have you. Um, this song is really emotional. I mean, it talks about Kendrick's struggles with fame and uh, feeling guilty, and um, yeah, I would say around here is probably when the songs start to become like ten out of tens, um, in my opinion. And at number six, I have the other track uh, similar to this one, um, I. Uh, this song is all about um, loving yourself. It's uplifting and has a positive vibe. And I think it's just slightly better than you. Um, it's a song that I personally would rather listen to. So that's why I gave it the edge here and put it above it in the rankings. And beginning the top five here, at number five, I have King Kunta. Um, again, this is one of the more... Um, like mainstream tracks or whatever on the album and it's like a confident song it talks about power and staying true to yourself um it's catchy and like most of these songs it has great lyricism so i mean just an absolute great song definitely 10 out of 10. at number four i have the black or the berry um this song talks about racism and hypocrisy uh it's intense and it makes you think about you know important issues in the world you know um but yeah, the top three here at number three. Um, I don't know if people will want this maybe at number two or number one, but I have All Right. Uh, it's the most popular song on the album. And I mean, for good reason. Like, 
it's very catchy and it's kind of easy to just throw on like you can put this on in the car or in any real setting the production is great uh the lyrics are meaningful and yeah i mean absolute phenomenal song and at number two i have how much a dollar cost um this one tells a story about empathy and realizing what's truly important in life um and it's really deep you know that's a big thing about this album like you can just listen to it but when you really like listen and like you know pay attention to the lyrics like this album is very deep you know and my number one song i'm sure you guys know what it is it is wesley's theory um it's the intro track and it's phenomenal it's the perfect song to kick off such an amazing album and um yeah that is my to pimp a butterfly ranking so yeah like i said leave a comment on some other albums you would like me to rank and um yeah leave a like subscribe and i'll catch you guys in the next one